Hey guys, coming to you live from Monk's Corner, South Carolina. Oh. Hey guys. So, welcome to our Keto Kitchen Outdoor version. Um, I'm going to try to fix that. Why is it so... Do a little bit more this way. Okay. So... All right, tonight we are doing family favorite. JJ picked it out because JJ got his learner's permit today, driving permit. Yay! So we're celebrating. So if you guys will give JJ a little celebration in the comments, that'd be great. If you're coming in live, how about drop a one for us? If you're coming in on replay, drop two. No. Let us know where you guys are coming from. So tonight we are doing loaded cauliflower and T-bone steaks with some onions and mushrooms. I'll stand over here. Can we have the cauliflower first? I uh, know. And we're going to start with cauliflower. So we're going to put this on first because it does take a little bit of time. And all we did was take some two heads of cauliflower and cut it up. So if you guys are hopping on. You can eat oil. I already put oil in. Oh. I already got you, girl. So if you guys are just hopping on, drop a one if you're coming in live. Drop a two if you're coming in replay. Please let us know where you're coming from. Let us know if you're keto, if you're dirty, lazy, or strict keto. Got this spatula. I reckon. This all a little bit. There you go. I'll let you hold it tonight. Hot right, stuff. So, so yeah, this will take a like, second for that. Yeah, it's like super much. So I am not a big fan of cauliflower. Put that over there for me. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of cauliflower um, at all. Uh, no matter how we cooked it before keto, we found a way to cook cauliflower that is just absolutely delicious. Um, so we're going to show you guys how we do that tonight. So this is just chopped up cauliflower. I think they call them florets or something. Yeah. Flores, something like that. Somebody drop it in the comments what they call it. So yeah. let us know where you're coming from. Let us know if you're keto. Let us know if you're a BSer or a Blackstone. If you cook on Blackstone, put down I'm a BSer or I love BSing. This is JJ, our brand new driver. Oh my God, we're going to die. Insurance goes up. <laughs> you guys know, you guys all know Stacy. We also call her Campbell's because she looks Mm -mm, good. All right, so we need some more oil. Where's that bacon at? <clears throat> so with the cauliflower, we're gonna put oil. If you guys don't have one of these Blackstone squirt bottles, you need to get one. So I used to use that little squirt bottle that came, the little cheap one, and the top would always pop off or the oil would leak out. Look at this thing. Let me see if I can get in there. Look at that. Nothing comes out. You can turn it upside down and don't go nowhere. So you squeeze the bottle. And then you got oil to come out. You got a nice little handicap oh, lid on there. So that keeps it fresh. So get you one of those if you don't have one already. So we're going to cook the cauliflower up. And it's going to cook pretty fast on the outside. So we're going to dome lid it so it steams and gets nice and pork tender. I'm going to get this all together. If you guys don't have a dome lid, pick you one up like that. A Blackstone dome lid. You got it straight from Walmart. We're going to put a little bit of water down. And cover up two whole heads of cauliflower go underneath that lid pretty nice. Look at that. Oh. Sorry. So the dog's going crazy. Say hello to Luke. Say hello to Remy, our grand dogger. If you guys like dogs or pets, we got two dogs, three cats. Drop some pet emojis in the comments. A monkey. It is this guy's Ow. celebration dinner right here because he uh. passed his permit test today. Mm -hmm. He's doing really well. If you guys follow us, you guys <laughs> saw the <laughs> you guys saw the track uh, stuff last night. He had his first track meet last night, and he is only seven feet away from state with throwing the shock put. So he's got seven more feet, and he can make state. So. He's doing really well with his track stuff. He has uh, just got his learner's permit today, so we're really proud of him. So we let him choose dinner tonight. So we're doing loaded cauliflower and T-bone steaks with mushrooms and onions. Well, no mushrooms for Stacy, but mushrooms and onions for us. So, you got that? Got We have been doing keto. You want to do salt and pepper, bud? What? Salt and pepper. pepper. How much you want? A lot. Oh, We're just going to keep stirring this up. I told you to put an apron on. Yeah, Listen, all you guys who question us about aprons and, and should you wear an apron, yes. She just messed up her shirt. Right no, because I got Dawn that can take it out. Ready? 
She's still messed up her shirt. Ready? She don't listen to me. Yeah. Well, here, let me so just So we use. Right <laughs> good? Yeah. We use pink Himalayan salt. Will you shut that off? Uh oh. And I need that water beside you. We use pink Himalayan salt because it's got great electrolytes and stuff. We use pepper. Oh, we didn't use pepper yet. We it Oh, man, you're killing me. I didn't do pepper yet. Okay. Oh, let it steam up. I'm going to move this bacon off to the side so it doesn't burn. While she goes and gets another spatula. Look, look at all this grease. Like, we can just take the grease and push it off to the right back to the back side of the grill. I don't even think and voila, that it's gone. Grill. So that's another beautiful part about the Blackstone. So we've been doing keto. Go ahead. <clears throat> we've been doing keto for a little over a year. Okay. Get down close. Here. There you go. There you go. Oh, whatever. All right, good. Okay, you got me. So a little, no more. a little over a year. I'm down almost 100 pounds now. About six pant sizes. I think I'm down seven belt loops or belt holes, belt notches, whatever you oh, call it. it. Stacy it's is down a little over 50 pounds. JJ is down 10 pounds and he ain't even trying. He ain't waiting for a while. Our daughter Tiffany <laughs> is down 30 pounds uh, right now. So this is kind of what we do. This is our lifestyle. We live a keto lifestyle. We switched over about a year and a half, almost a year and a half ago. Not even close, like a year and a couple months, I guess. Um, because of my health, we switched into this and started eating better, and it's been going great. So, all right, we want to move that off. Matt you know, said, "When does JJ get his new Corvette?" Actually, uh, I can probably put it with the cauliflower. You hear me? So I'm gonna go ahead and mix in okay. with the loaded cauliflower. When, We're gonna do some bacon. When's JJ getting his new Corvette? Right when getting a new what? Corvette. Don't give that boy no ideas. <laughs> oh my bad. <laughs> Forgot about that. He got that big woolly mullet. Y'all see that thing? He said, business in the front, party in the rear. We don't understand the mullet. I didn't understand the mullet in the 80s, but it's there and it's back. And kids are loving it. So we let oh. him do whatever he wants with his hair for now. Drop right. something. You guys had a mullet in the 80s, drop down mullet man in the 80s. All right, Paul, what's up? Uh, Tom asked, how do you know if the steak is medium well? I did steak tonight and it was well done. So you really, it does take time to uh, to kind of learn to do it like we do. We do by feel. Um, there's, it depends on how thick your steak is. So you can do if it's a half inch thick or a whole inch, if it's got bone or not. So there's a lot of different variables that play into it as far as how long you cook it on each side. So these are a little bit thinner, but how we tell is by feel. So the squishier it is, the more raw it is. The firmer it is, the more done it is. So that's how we do our steaks. We all like medium rare, um, so we don't really have a problem with that. My daughter's coming over tonight. They like medium well. I don't understand medium well. Drop down how you like your steak in the comments. Um, I don't understand medium well. I, I ain't never done nothing but medium rare or rare. So medium well is just way too tough. It takes out too much flavor for me. Uh, Richard, so. congratulations. You guys make sure you drop down congratulations for JJ in the comments. No, I was saying for like... His, for getting his learning permit. What would you say, JJ? Because he said his uh, boy got his driver's license. Nice, oh, congrats. Congratulations. Yeah, we're learning We're learning real quick. What's going on? Hey, Jeff, how's it going? Temperature, temp what? Temp what? I can't read what it says. Probe. Temp probe. Yeah, you can use temp probes. I, I personally don't use temp probes. I try not to anyway. Sometimes larger pieces of meat I do because it's hard to tell the, the internal temperature or if it's done all the way in the middle. Um, but probes, every time you probe it, you're, you're letting valuable juice out um, and that's good flavor. So anyway, if you're coming in live, drop a one. If you're coming in replay, drop a two for us. Let us know where you're coming from. We are from Monk's Corner. We need to get the mushrooms on too. I need some oil. We're gonna put some mushrooms on. Woo! Let me see the things. So these are just button caps. Okay. And all we did was take and slice them up, wash them and slice them up. Make sure you wash. I don't know if you guys know this, but wash your mushrooms. I need a little bit of oil for the onions. Uh. You're not mixing them. No. Why not? 
I don't trying to read. <laughs> no thank you. Thank you guys for all the congratulations. Yeah, thank you. So the cauliflower is cooking real nice. Yep. You really just want it pork tender. You know what I'm saying? Because we're about to put in some more stuff. Oh if you just pop it on, we're doing T-bone steaks with mushrooms and onions and some loaded, we call this loaded cauliflower. So instead of having a loaded baked potato, we do a loaded cauliflower. I didn't think it sounded appealing at first. I'm a meat and potatoes kind of person, but this thing is actually pretty darn good. JJ, will you um, yep. grab some more water for me? Thank you, sir. But this stuff is really good. Like, uh, I, I really despise cauliflower, but this dish is so delicious, you're gonna be surprised how great cauliflower can actually taste. So if you're keto, drop the word keto down for us. If you're a BSer, drop down, I'm a BSer in the comments if you cook on a Blackstone. This is one of the main reasons we like the Blackstone right here. Is we can cook all this food on one thing. We got one cleanup and we're done. We can sit down and eat and enjoy dinner together. So this is JJ's little celebration dinner. This is what he wanted to do. I'm gonna step back. Yeah, I got some water. Oil. Ow. Hot. Thank you, sir. Alright. What's up, Ken? Uh loaded radishes. No. Sounds decent. Butter. Listen, I have not found a good way to eat radishes. If you guys have found a good radish dish, how about drop it down in the comments or message me or something? So we do keto radishes. I want to try to use them. They're very great and low carbs. They're very low in carbs, but I haven't found a good way to, to eat them other than just fry them and then these just little tiny little slices of radishes. So um, if you've got a good radish dish or a good way to eat radishes, let me know in the comments. All right, we're ready to put their sticks on. No. No? No. Okay, are we? Uh, I think we need to get this going a little more. What did you put on the cauliflower? So the cauliflower right now is just cauliflower, bacon, and salt, Himalayan salt and pepper. We're gonna throw in some garlic with the mushrooms and with the cauliflower, and then we're gonna throw Ooh. in some cheese, and that's gonna be it. Uh, that's all it really needs, and avocado oil. We cooked it in avocado bacon. oil. Radish and bacon grease. That might, that might actually, bacon grease pretty much makes everything better. So. You wanna throw some water in the, on those mushrooms and I'll steam them? No. Why? I just wanted to saute up. Okay. Please. No problem. It's your mushrooms, not mine. Campbell's back here whipping it up behind me. I know it's hard to see her with my big behind, but. All right. Radishes thinly sliced with salt and pepper with rice red vinegar as a snack. As a snack? Just raw? Raw radish? I don't know if I can handle that. I'm not a big vegetable person, so I don't know if I can handle raw. Yeah. I might try it with the, with the vinegar, but... Alright. I think one more steam on the cauliflower will be good. Ah, bugs. The mushrooms are looking good. Gnats and all out here, man. Are they? They're yeah. killing me, small. So it's starting to become Ooh. summertime again. Turnip fries. So turnip fries. I don't know if I've ever heard of turnip fries. I've heard of radish fries. Someone else turnip suggested turnip. that uh, a while back. Turnip? That's how you say that? Turnip, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Not turn up like, woo, turn up, but like turn up like a turnip vegetable. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, um, if you guys want in on our secret keto recipe group, Drop the word secret down below. Shoot me a friend's request. We can get you in there. Our recipe group's got almost 500,000 people in it. We do tips and tricks for keto, do's and don'ts on keto, recipes for keto, all kinds of good stuff that are keto. So that's how we lost almost 200 pounds as a family and, uh, and how we're able to maintain this. So this is a lifestyle for us. This isn't just a get, get skinny quick diet so we do this we are lazy keto we don't count macros and stuff we don't count calories we literally stick to 20 30 carbs a day and um and we do a slow process so i don't weigh myself very often they don't weigh themselves very often uh, we try to stay off the scale because of the water weight and stuff when you're drinking a lot of water um, with keto so uh, currently i'm down almost 100 
She's down 50 something. 50 something. She does not look enthused today. What is going on? No, it, because when I had my tooth pulled, I had gained the weight because all I could eat was mashed potatoes and pudding. So 47? Uh, yeah. So about 47. So she that. had her tooth pulled out, so she had to eat potatoes and pudding, mashed potatoes and pudding. So she's gained a few pounds back. So, Let me tell you. And I didn't miss the she'll, she'll So Don asked what we were eating. Don, we're doing loaded cauliflower with T-bones and sautéed mushrooms. What kind of meat was it? T-bones. T-bones sticks. Whoops. So loaded cauliflower so far is just cauliflower florets or florets or florals or whatever you call those things. Florets. Florets. You just cook them up on here until they're about pork tender. Get your fork out of here. They ain't pork tender yet. Let me see. You don't know that. Try it and see. They ain't done yet. You guaranteed oh, those ain't done yet. It's supposed to be JJ's. And we're know, celebrating right? JJ getting his permit, so everybody tell him congratulations if you're just popping on. Also, if you're just popping on, drop a one in the comments if you're coming in live and you see that little live box up in the corner. Drop a two if you're coming in on replay. Listen, this dish is oh, absolutely oh. amazing. Um, is it done? Kimberly it asked. Not quite. Kimberly what? asked, why do men lose weight faster? So, I don't know. I, I mean, I couldn't tell you, honestly. It's, uh, I don't know if it's something to do with metabolism or, or what the case is with keto, but um, men do typically lose weight faster. My personal thought is, um, as far as the statistic, they lose weight faster, but there. they're also majority of That's us. Mm, it's majority men on keto, not women, because men are meat eaters. So we're, we actually adapt to it a little bit better than women because we can handle the meat and the fat and stuff. So I don't know how the study was done or how the statistics came about, but my guess is just because there's more men doing it than women. So, um, um, here you go. Thank you guys for you the go. congratulations. Here, buggy. What? Oh. It's okay. hot. I see that. All right, so that's steaming one more time. And then we're gonna add cheese and some garlic. Where's my spoon? I oh, don't it's have right there. Oh. Boy, I thought you was eating off my spoon. No. I'm not eating off your spoon. All right, so pork. this is just some minced garlic I'm putting in with the mushrooms. Now that they're ready and done. Mm. Let me turn that side up. So oh, you put the garlic on there after I get mine. <laughs> so I'm going to heat that left side of the grill up on high so we can cook the steaks because I want a real good sear on the outside of the you steaks. Know you know what? They're oh, already good the without the garlic. Here, now you can lick this. Go ahead. Look it. Hey, you didn't put none in the um, onion. <laughs> 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 well, you don't like you don't like minced garlic. No. Go a little bit. Yes, please. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. All right. So now with the cauliflower, so far it's just cauliflower, oh. bacon, salt, and pepper. Trying to kill me. Just a little bit of garlic in there, and you always wait till close to the end to put your garlic in because garlic burns a lot faster than other foods. Yes. That's really... I didn't know that. So you don't want your garlic to get burn flavor. We're going to throw a couple different kinds of cheese in here. Like a little Fiesta and a little mozzarella. And that's going to be in with the cauliflower if I can get my fingers in there. Can I put steak on? Yes. Thank you. So... Move Kimberly on. said, I've been on keto two years, lost 75 pounds, hey, but my husband has lost so much more faster. I don't know if she meant fair or far. Fair. I'm pretty sure. Fair? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know the body metabolism, especially different people. It, it ranges. Some things work for some people that don't work for other people. We've got people that actually have to fast a lot to uh, re rebuild yeah. their metabolism. So... Bloody, raw. Uh, sometimes just rebooting, doing a fast will um, get your metabolism kicked back in. Some women, some men have to do that too. So it just depends. I'm not one that does a lot of fasting. I do happen. intermittent fasting. I'll take it. What? For what? I put it on the cart. Oh. Sorry. All right. So I'm gonna move this stuff over. I'll keep up the comments. Once I mix this up a little bit. So that we can use the rest of the grill for the steaks. Oh, this thing is looking good. Can y'all see this? Well, I hope y'all can see tell. this. Aunt Margaret's watching. There we go. Look at that. Woo, woo. I have the fork. That thing looks so good. 
Yeah. And then we're just gonna let the cauliflower kind of soak up there with all that garlic and oh, sorry. <laughs> cheese. You missed one. I keep forgetting I'm on up in the camera like that. This is why we can't get anything done on this grill because they keep eating it. <laughs> hey Dad. Uh, what? Aunt Margaret's watching. Hey Aunt Margaret, how are you? Look. So look at this. We're gonna slide the mushrooms over. And we can keep all this separate. I was saying, what, look all at the, the line, comments. All the yeah. no, Thank right you, Aunt Margaret. Love you. I think she's probably getting kicked off and all. Yeah. It probably yeah. happens to a lot of people. Ready? Put other steaks uh, sure. on. Oh, I got a mushroom in there. Hold on. Oh. I got you. Go. Oh. All right, so the cauliflower and stuff's done. Loaded cauliflower is okay. literally yeah. like a baked potato. We okay. usually put green onions in here, yeah. too, but okay. I didn't have any green onions tonight, and I didn't buy any. I forgot about it. So it's not going to have any tonight, but it's cauliflower. You cut it up, cook it down until it's pork tender, add bacon, add some garlic, and add whatever kind of cheeses you like, and it is absolutely delicious. Roger said, I'm, I've been keto for two years. Roger who? Oh, I not thought Roger, Roger. I thought Roger, Roger. Roger. <laughs> Roger. Hey, Roger, thank you for commenting. You guys, if you'll share us out to your keto groups, your recipe groups, that's greatly appreciated as well. That's good. If you're coming in live, press a one, like you see that little box up in the top corner. If you're coming in on replay, drop us a two. Um, Let us know where you're coming from. We are from Monk's Corner, South Carolina. Ooh, why are you on my back, girl? It's hot. You good? Yeah. What are y'all doing back That's there? That's not even done all the way, right? <laughs> They're back there Here, trading food. Take it. They're back there trading food. Look at it. That's good. I'm good. Oh, my. They're back there trading steak behind my back, so I wasn't getting none, but I got some anyway. I have a so. spice pantry instead of a rack. Might try cauliflower okay. now. Thanks. I know. Listen, I don't like cauliflower, but I'm telling you, wait till you see this up close on camera. It's It's delicious. I don't eat cauliflower. I don't like cauliflower. Ooh. I don't like broccoli and stuff. But this cauliflower dish is absolutely amazing. Man. And the only reason I tried it is because we started keto and someone else told us, you know, to try it out. Because we we need side dishes for keto still. And um, I was like, well, we can't do potatoes, so we might as well try it. We tried it in the oven. You can do it in the Ooh. oven. And it is uh, just put the cauliflower in the Man. bottom of the casserole dish. Some avocado oil. Add your bacon and stuff in there and then cover it with cheese and put it in the oven for about 25 or 30 minutes on 350 and it is perfectly delicious. Yes. Queso on the cauliflower. Queso. We do have queso cheese in there. I should have tried that. Mom would have flipped. Yeah, mom would have flipped. She loves queso. Mom you hear that? All right. Queso oh, on the cauliflower. So our steaks queso are pretty- Queso on cauliflower. Ooh. Our steaks are really thin. Not really thin, but they're thinner, about half inch. So what you do is just touch to see kind of how done they are. You can also see the red the red juice from the blood coming up a little bit. That's when you know it's good to flip. Oh, not all of them. Got one. That wasn't ready yet. It's not ready yet. Can you do sweet potatoes on keto? No, you cannot do sweet potatoes on keto. You can do sweet potatoes on keto if you're trying to have a cheat day. So sweet oh, potatoes yeah. are not are not great for keto. No potato. If it says potato, you really don't want it on <laughs> keto. Good. Mm -hmm. So if you want in on our uh, keto recipe group, please drop the word secret down below. Shoot me a friend's request. We'll get you added in on the keto recipe group. It's 500,000 people, almost 500,000 people. We share tips and tricks. We share recipes. We share do's and don'ts and stuff of keto. Um, a lot of people here in town, uh, just so you know, there's... Out of the top 25 keto coaches in the country, seven or eight of them live right here in this area. And that's kind of how we get all of them. We get fed by these people, <laughs> all this stuff that, that do's and don'ts and stuff with keto. That's how we've been successful on it. That's how our family's lost about 200 pounds on keto. So if you want in on that, shoot me um, a friend's request. Drop the word secret down below. We'll get you in on the secret keto recipe group. Roger said, love your lives a lot, yeah. chef. Big mosquito it? behind me. Okay. Sorry about that. Did you hear me? So the squishier the meat, the more raw it is, mm. or the more rare, 
So mine, this one is done. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off so I can show you guys. You can hear where I said what? Oh, <laughs> Roger said, not our Roger, different Roger. Different Roger. He said, <laughs> um, love your lives a lot. I can't remember the rest. Thank you, Roger. We appreciate it. I was trying. I'll go ahead and cut a piece and then put the other stuff on. Oh, man. Don't you even? Whoa, well, you know what? Just because yeah. you, yeah. you got your permit today. Yeah. Listen, this boy, this boy thinks he's hot stuff because he got his permit today. You know what I mean? First time catching y'all live. Hot dog. Welcome. Hi. Glad you got us on live. So I'm going to cut him a little piece off on the side. <laughs> Uh, what? That looks we need fun. a keto beer, is what okay. Jared said. I think that's how you say it. Jared, Jared said we need a keto beer. A keto beer, you're right. My sister drinks, um, what's that, Michelob 55 or something like Michelob that? Michelob Ultra? Some, Michelob Ultra or something sometimes. We got some onions and mushrooms on there. Roger said, you are the favorite, or you are favorite people, buddy. Thank you, sir. We appreciate the support. Don't forget to share us out to your keto groups and your recipe groups. We greatly appreciate it. Let us know if you shared us out. Get your head out the way. Hold on. That ain't ready for you yet. I got you yeah, right there. Look. That's your piece. Yeah, I'm getting the mushrooms and all, bro. <laughs> I'm getting everything. Look, get out the way, boy. No. All right. <laughs> try it on try it on the screen there. There you go. Try it hot. How is it? Is it good? Yeah? Alright. It's great. Is that what you want for your dinner? Yes. That's a good celebration dinner? Yeah. Alright, so let me slide right here. I got, got it. Yep. Alright, so loaded cauliflower. And look, if you put some green onions on that loaded cauliflower, it'll make it look like a dish out of a five-star restaurant. And then the steak with mushrooms and onions. And that's how you do it on a 36-inch Blackstone for six people. So, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> thank, you, thank you guys for watching. Again, if you want in on the Secret Keto Recipe Group, please drop the word secret down below. We'll get you added in on the Secret Keto Recipe Group or shoot me a friend's request or both. Are you using fresh or frozen cauliflower? This is fresh right. cauliflower. So just a rundown of what we did. Fresh cauliflower, cook it down until it's pork tender. We added bacon, a little bit of uh, cheese and garlic, salt and pepper, and then just cheese on top. And then all we used on the steaks was just, I, all I use on steak is garlic and uh, a garlic salt and Enjoy. pepper, and that's it. So um, I, don't, I don't do a whole bunch of mess on my steaks. I like the taste of the beef. So we do pepper and garlic salt, garlic Himalayan salt, and that's pretty much it. So anything else? We good? Nope. Get it? All right, we're going to take this food off. We're going to go in here and enjoy it. Thank you guys for watching. We appreciate it. Don't forget to share us out to your groups and stuff. Don't forget to leave us some comments. And thank you guys. See you next time.